See, on the night you crashed, it says that otherworldly objects started falling from the sky. So when they saw what was happening, they collected everything they could and they brought it here to a casita they named after the Aztec word for star. Sidlali. Mm-hmm. And then they charged themselves with protecting the artifacts until the sky gods came back for it. Hmm. Look at this. Hmm. Alma, that's uh, Hector's wife. This must have been written after the night of the crash. Well, apparently, after what happened there that night, the Valentis and Roswell decided to cut communication with their family in Correas. They wanted to make sure to protect anything extraterrestrial from falling into the wrong hands. Kyle, your family has been protecting my family for the last 75 years. You know what this means, right? <laughs> uh, this is a uh, log of every Valenti who's lived at Seat Lali ever since. Huh. It says Sonia Valenti from Santa Fe. Santa Fe? Isn't Eduardo from Santa Fe? Has he ever mentioned a daughter? No, but it's not like my family doesn't have a history of secret daughters, so. ¿Quién demonios son ustedes? Creo que soy tu primo. Have you been here? Eight years. I left my dad to run Deep Sky and decided to pursue some of the family businesses. Wood carving, distilling, and waiting for the Sky people to return. Well, they have returned. I'm Isabel. Forgive me, but the last one I met tried to kill me and apparently shoved me in the pot. Right. How did that happen? We Valentis have a myriad of alien items found or given to us to hold. The empty pod was one of them. One day this woman shows up covered in runes. We fought and in the pod I went. You know, she's a shapeshifter. I'm thinking that the stasis of the pod helped her hold your form. Explains why she liked that painting so much. Tezcatlipoca is a shapeshifting Aztec god. She named herself Tezca before sending me into a pod nap. Because she understands irony. Hmm. Thanks for patching me up. Yeah, it's the least secret family members can do. Speaking of, um, did you send your dad a letter to come down here? My dad? No. We haven't talked in years. His look at the sky slant is a bit granola for me. He forgets the aliens welcomed our familia by lighting one on fire. No offense. Some come in peace, others are better cut into pieces. Oh. I look forward to your TED talk. Uh, seeing as you are the Valenti Correa's Point person, do you have any idea who might have sent that letter? Probably the crazy Weta, Ellie Myers. She's a scientist up and in on all things alien down here. You wouldn't happen to know where she is. Been in a pod, and Allie goes where the science and Mescal take her. Hey, you're a sky person. Focus your energy on the calaveras. Now, turn them counterclockwise together. Empty. Maldita sea. Tesco took an artifact. What artifact? One brought down from Roswell decades ago for us to keep safe. A stone board etched to hold alien glass pieces. What does it do? Whatever it does, it was worth nearly killing me to get it. <laughs> 